great morning. Great morning. Great morning. And welcome back to another episode of Great Morning. I'm your host, Christian Murmur, Murms, Murm Dog, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And to the left of my computer screen, we have the boss, the pimp, the CEO, the chief, slightly special himself, Jimmy the Shooter. How you doing today, bro? Man, it is good to be back. Let me tell you. Well, let me tell you, man, it's good to be back, bro. It's good. Yeah, man, it's good to hear from you. Uh... The listeners, uh, the listeners might find that sentence weird because they probably just listened to the Halloween special, which you were on. But as most people should know, we did record that episode a little before Halloween. Um, that way we could have it ready for Halloween. Yes, so yes. he's Jimmy is, of course, referring to the two episodes previously when he was at that training in Florida, which we're going to ask you about real quick. How was that? Give us a little, little rundown of what you were doing. You were saving the world over there. What was happening? Yeah, you know, um, I wouldn't say saving the world, but I'd say preparing to save the world, possibly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we, we went down, my, my team and I, you know, we went down to, to Pensacola for about a week. And we had an uh, intensive thing called Team Trainer in the military, man. So what Team Trainer is, is it's one of those things where what we do is we do crash salvage and fire rescue, right? So during that week, we went over like, you know, evolutions like pilot rescue, uh, how to shut down aircraft, how to lift an aircraft out of the landing area after it's crashed. It was a lot of good stuff, man. A lot of really good training. Had a lot of fun. Team was hype. We definitely needed it. It was like one of those sport bonding moments. You know what I mean? Like everybody came back and morale was up and people were like, yeah, we're a fucking team. And we got a hundred percent. So shout out to the squad. Hell yeah. Well, I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy. It was a motivated a little, little fun motivational time you had over there in uh in the great you know i think we talked to a uh, reef about this the florida being the south and east but i think it's it's the south right <laughs> it's pretty we can call it the south right dude i don't know but those mask regulations are non-existent it was amazing yeah i mean amazing. they're they're non-existent really where i am right now too I mean, you know, we don't speaking of that kind of stuff, not getting into it, but speaking of, I voted today for uh New Jersey governor and uh I think uh, Senate and uh, there's an assemblyman and all that stuff, you know. I did Can that. you tell us? Can you tell us who you voted for? I will not. I will not say My mercy, tell us who you voted oh, for. Let's go. I voted for uh Harambe. And you know what? I this is true. I this you want to hear something that's true? There was a uh there was one position where it was like just one person was running. It was like some small, like, like, I don't know, something with like the school district. Yeah, person, yeah something, you know. something small time. So I wrote someone in. Do you know who I wrote in? Har- Harambe. No, I, I was joking about that. I didn't write Harambe. Kanye West. No, it's, it's, someone, you six know. Nine. it's someone you know personally. Mm, your best friend and the special guest that's been on the episode. Who? Whose name is currently slipping my mind. Oh, is that, is that why you guys? Uh, yeah, dude. All right, so don't tell me. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> you wrote in. Uh, can you give me the letter his name starts with? Uh, his it's first name or his last name? First name. Uh, C. Oh, damn it! There's so many names out there with the C. Yeah, that's a tough uh, one. What were you expecting me to say? X. <laughs> Oh, Professor Xavier, of course. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, Professor Xavier to take over the world for the economical school district. Does he sound like he's drunk all the time? No, but he does sound like he's drunk when he does drink, which is not all the time. Damn it. I know who it is. I just, I'm sorry, bro, if you're listening to this, man. I, I completely. Do you want me to just tell you? Because I really don't want to give you the runaround here because you're actually going to get angry at me. Yeah, tell me. It's you. <laughs> I put in Charles Jimerson. <laughs> <laughs> You're you're apologizing to yourself. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yes, children, let me run your school district. So that'd be funny if you get a call tomorrow <laughs> saying like, "Hey, where are you where are you at, motherfucker? You just won." <laughs> I will run the most biological biological school I don't even district. Know what position it was. It was literally something for like something small in the town of Rock. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, all of you are now peasants to me. But I run the town district. Board. Yes. So you know what I would do if I actually ran a school? 
What? Okay, first of all, I'd have mandatory nap time. In all mandatory schools? nap time for like two hours of the day would be nap time. You know what else I would do? Is this like a college thing or is this just uh, you know? No, I think it was just like below. like the school like a public school thing. Okay, well either way, I would literally cut out any and all extra bullshit like fluff from schools. Like for example, if I wanted to get a college degree, did you know it really only takes two years of credits? But like they make you do a bunch of extra shit. So like. Yes, I'm doing a lot like, of that extra shit right now. <laughs> exactly. So, like, let's say you wanted to be, like, a law student for college. Your last two years of high school could just be 301 and 101 of, like, you know, the fundamentals of law. So then by the time you hit college, you're already in your advanced courses, and then, bam, that's it. I would cut out, like, biology. Like, why the fuck do you need to learn biology if you're trying to study and defend people in court? You know I what I'm saying? I think that's a bigger position i think that takes multiple people not just uh this like is my I school district for. <laughs> I, I think listen, the position man. i put you in for probably just deals with some bureaucratic stuff within public schools well then i want all public restrooms to be both male and female together and we will not call them restrooms we will call them them rooms yeah, see, I don't even know if the position I wrote you in for can do something like that. I think we maybe it's more maybe, maybe it happen. can like delegate how much money goes into certain programs. <laughs> that, also, that might be the position. There will be an invention we will create, Mermzy, where it's going to be a female self flush urinal slash bodet. You see? And Did you say a female? Female <laughs> bodet urinal. That means whenever they're done tinkling, you know, some little water will tinkle back. Then they'll be leaving pamper fresh, right? Diaper fresh. So whenever they're all, you know, tinkle, 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 splash, 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 they get the little drip, drip. And then it'll have to be like right next to like a male urinal as well, because we are not <laughs> identifying nor offending anyone who identifies as male or female. We believe all options should be open. This will happen but within the about, school district of Toronto. What about the City. people that identify as like non-binary or just like neither of neither male or female? We have a urinal for them, too. So, so you're going to have a urinal that says male, a urinal that says female, and then a urinal that says, yo, whatever you want. Cool district of Charles Jimison. Also, lunch will have mandatory <laughs> monthly food fights with pastries. Only pastries. That sounds like, oh, see, someone, see, like, everything like that, like, someone's going to get angry that uh, that's, you know, wasteful. Yes, it is that, that, wasteful. That taxpayers are just paying for <laughs> for a food day once a month that just gets wasted. <laughs> yes, see, it makes about as much sense as my tax dollars now going towards gas. Okay, because let me tell you, let me tell you about that six dollar tank over here. What is it? Six dollars over there, dude. Eighty seven, my shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, it's 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 up. What, how much is a gallon uh, by that? I, I remember there's that, what is that, an Exxon near you? I forget yeah. what it is. It's, you know, it's the one with the convenience store. Like, how much is gas there? So if you want regular gas, man, you're looking about 449 You know, honestly, I mean, that sucks. But, I mean, for California, that I feel like that's not terrible. If you go to a Shell, though, Shell's hell, you know? Yeah, that's close Shell's to not five. Fuck, Shell's nothing to fuck around with. You hey, get premium have... gas, right? How much is that? I get premium. It's about five. five. Five is change, man. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's <laughs> fucking nuts. So yeah, we have a special guest. Shit. We have another special guest that is uh, on the episode today. Okay. She goes by by um, that mama Puerto Rican mamacita from oh, Spanish Harlem. Oh. oh. Mm hmm. Oof. Here, I got this. Watch right when she comes in. I'll fucking I'll fuck her up. Stephanie. What if we just in. don't tell her? What if we don't tell her? Let's not tell her we're in the Zoom call right now. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's let, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pretend like we're having some call. Let's pretend. Okay. So here. Um, yeah. 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 Hold on. This will be. By good. the way, I did want to though talk about the ten people that made it to the finale of Great Morning. Right. Oh, we should definitely talk about. I'm gonna. So ten. I'm gonna li I, just in case no one out there saw the uh, the Instagram posts and the other the, all the posts we made. You can listen to this episode, and I will say in order of how they appeared on the show. So this is not, of course, the order on their, of the top ten list that will only be announced on the finale. So please tune into the finale if you want to hear who got 
number one and where everyone else got placed. Yeah, so suckers, if you guys out. want that list, you need to go to www.wikileaks.com. Yes. I really hope it didn't get leaked because we are the only three that know. I have I have not told anyone. I've wanted to. I've wanted to. I want to be like, oh, but I have not. Um, or I won't even say what the number one prize is either um, because I want that to be a surprise as well. But that is being made. I can say oh. that. That is currently oh. being created. Oh, by the way, great work with that. Hey, man. She left. She left the room. So listen. Yeah, I don't think her do. internet was doing well there. It looked like when it comes, where is she, where is she, where is she currently? She's in. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the the list real quick. Again, this is not the order. This is not. I'm not gonna start off with like number one on the finale. So please wait. Hold on. Like, let's 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 before we, we before we do that. What are you doing? I'm gonna admit. She's literally in the middle of this. I'm gonna admit her. I'm gonna admit her into the room. Oh, we're, we're doing, doing it again. We'll make it seem like it's a meeting, but it won't be a meeting. Well, then, yeah, it sounds like I'm talking to you about the list. Don't even worry about it. Let her in. Okay, okay, we're doing I'm going to give the list, and Stephanie's going to be joining at the same time. So here we go. This is going to be so good. (laughs) So first we have Steph, right? We got the bronze kneecap. Bronze. We got Topazkin, a.k.a. Chuck. My brother. We got Rush the Visionary. Okay, doing big things, Rush. Yes, we got Jess from SD. Yes, the Traveler. We got O'Shea Ivy. My dog. We got Slick from Spaz Out TV. Very funny, very funny brother, my brother. We got our own actress, Harlow Harrison. Yes, we do. Porn star. We've got, uh, oh, you know, he, he's been in the game for a long time. We got Rufus Black. Rufus Black, platinum and producer. The last one, but, you know, not least, of course, is, of course, our good friend and artist, Crisis. Crisis. That dude makes good music. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah, that's does. of course everyone on the uh, the top ten list there. Well, I just wanted we, to... did, we did uh, we did good, man. That was the good list you came out with, man. Yeah, and I, it's 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 well deserved. I I feel those were the, they were definitely the best. No offense to the other people who didn't get on the list, but you know. Yeah, they were just they just had it. You know, some people just don't got it. You know, <laughs> just kidding, guys. Steph, before we start, like, what's up? How you been? I'm chilling, man. Chilling, you know. Um, I have a ton of appointments coming in. A ton. It just oh, hit me yesterday. Um, so I'm just, like, preparing. Um, I've been trying not to drug myself because I didn't know that you're allowed to take, like, 3,000 milligrams of, like, ibuprofen and Tylenol. Hey, that so, shit is not good for your liver. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? You know, I like these headaches are really crazy. Like they're intense. They're really, really intense. And are like you, sometimes it feels like something is like stabbing me. In the liver? No, in my head, in my brain. <laughs> said headache. What about two for in one? In the liver. <laughs> huh? What about like a two for one? Like, do you feel like you're getting stabbed in the head, but shot in the liver? Nah. It's a good metaphor for what's happening right <laughs> now. Nah, nah, dude. Definitely not the liver. But that's what's up, man. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. It's headache. not what's up, but like at the same time, like, you know, we're still proud of you, you know, going through all that shit. Yeah. And you're doing a good job on social media too, man. Like mad props. To man, that. I haven't I haven't really done shit. I feel so like I don't know. It's 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 weird because like I like my head is just not in there right now. And 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 it's because like I, I I just feel like there's just so much going on, especially having to like come from New Jersey to New York and then like staying at grandma's house with everybody and their mother there is like mm. super fucking intense. And it's it's extremely overwhelming. And my I feel like my headaches have gotten worse since I've been staying at my grandma's. So like whenever I am here, I just want to sleep. Like that's yeah. all I want to do. Like I don't want to do anything. I just want to sleep. Like my grandmother and everybody in that house, they just they're just in their own fucking world. And I'm just like, dude, like I'm not supposed to be stressed out. Like I'm supposed to be cool, calm, and collected, and you know, like not doing any of that crazy shit. And um, you know, and here you guys are stressing me the fuck out. <laughs> Uh, like, yeah have you been what? doing any crazy shit no i haven't you been try, doing... so you know what you should try doing this you should try skateboarding skateboarding 
Yeah, we'll that see, shit's a fucking out. blast. Come on, Marms, don't act like you didn't try to skateboard back in the day. I never did. I thought it. I thought it looked kind of a uh, kind of stupid. What? Come on, dude. The Rodney Bowen. It it's cool it's again. Cool. When I was a, when I was a kid, I like was out of it. I was like the age that was kind of out of it. Like I wasn't in the '90s where like Tony Hawk was cool and everything. So like, I oh yeah, that's Tony the Hawk after. And then it kind of got cool again when I was like a teenager. But by then, I'm like, I'm not that's fucking going there. around thing, how to do this shit. <laughs> You gotta do that shit when you're younger. Yeah, my son's you know, skateboarding speaking, right now, dude. Speaking of Stephanie's um social media, I'm getting really sick and tired of some of the things people I don't know why first of all, I don't know why people feel like they should come up to me and say things about Stephanie that are gross, but please stop saying these things to dude, me. I love the DMs though. Steph, I I kinda now I get it. I get a little bit like the other side of the that social media realm, that social media world where, you know, people are like, just take a picture of your feet, babe. Come on. Yeah, but that's the DMs yeah. at least. At least that's in her DMs. I've had pe- people like come to my face like th- like this and tell no me. No way. Just, yeah. And it's no kind of pissing me off, you. actually. <laughs> yeah, Wait, kinda, I want to know. What are they saying? I, get like, se- I feel like I get sexually I'm not, harassed. I'm not going to say right too. now. I'll tell you later, though, if you I'm really not. want to. Know. I'm not going <laughs> to say right now. I, I respect you enough to not say that right now. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> All we want to know, Steph, is when is the OnlyFans dropping? Because obviously, people are excited. You want to know how? Yeah, Me well, too. Let's get this money. Yeah. This girl's got to get yeah, brain no. surgery before she gets an OnlyFans. Yeah. I I, I was actually I was thinking about that because I was like, shit. I know that I said that after fifteen thousand, I was going to start my OnlyFans. But then that was around the same time that I found out that I had a fucking brain tumor. So now I'm just like, um, that's going to just after if I'm you done. had to. Ha- I think I got a good porn star name for you. If you're looking for manager or like a, a sure. manager. OK, ready? Sure, yeah, it's going to be a tumor tulip. Oh, cool. I love Picture it. That tumor tulip goes in for job interview. I love it. That no, <laughs> I'm shaking my head. That was oh, no. Man, All right, that's a bad. That's man. a big, the big no from me, dog. <laughs> if I had a, if I had to take my major disease that I've gone through and suffered and turned into a porn star name, mine would be Charlie Cancer. Char- Charlie Cancer. And I would tra- Charlie Cancer spreads. Charlie Charlie Cancer spreads legs. Charlie Charlie like Charlie Cancer in that body. Try the you cancer know, from the behind. Speaking of cancer, try, try the cancer uh, at the bus stop. I woke. I had like this weird dream the other night where I thought there was something wrong with my balls, and oh. I woke up like in at three o'clock in the morning, like scared, and I like quickly like put my hand down there and I'm like feeling around and I felt like I'm like oh my god that's a fucking lump that's a fucking huge lump and I'm like half asleep like freaking out for a second I'm like that's a huge lump and then I realized I was just grabbing my own ball. Oh. I'm that's like, oh, nice. that's not a lump. That's just my testicle. Do you ever forget like your testicles are there? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you move around. Uh, I like a thing. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm like, like, yeah. Yeah. They're not always just swinging around. I never forget my penis is there, though. And that's not to say like I have some huge penis. That That's not what I'm trying to get at right now. But I, I don't ever forget that that's there. That's, that's weird, I- right? It's weird because it's like the balls aren't necessarily worse. It's not that's not lesser of the two. Well, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever seen a grown man naked, like the penis kind of is like a flaccid penis is like in front of the balls, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I feel like since that's more in front, possibly, I just I'm always more like I know that that's there. I don't know. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not making any sense. Maybe. Maybe I, maybe I just have that giant, giant horse cock on me. Who thought it? Start an OnlyFans and. Show yeah, us. why don't you start an OnlyFans? Yeah, dude, you know, you, it's not it's just a one way, yeah, it's not a one way street, bro. Like, you can start an OnlyFans yeah. too, and you're single. Yeah. So, if think about enough it. people yeah. want to see me do it, I'll do it. Yeah, let me yeah, know. you should definitely start a petition for Merms. Yeah, go for you it. Heard, you heard it here. Merms is going to start an OnlyFans. That's right. I'll fuck right. And he's I'll going know. to expose his horse cock to everyone and their mother. Yeah, yeah. horse cock. And then Merms. Yeah. Your porn star name could be um Horsey. Horsey. Or I was thinking the punctual Christian. Imagine <laughs> imagine we hype this up like so much that like f- I got like fifty thousand followers or I'm something. I'm trying like, to right now, punctual Christian. I mean they're not. 
Not really, dude. Out. So there's a rumor out there that says like every that I have major a giant horse cock. <laughs> every well, yeah, but that one, but also every major like influencer or man of wealth in uh in the world have like really weird dicks. It's almost okay. a prerequisite. Like you got to have a weird dick if you're gonna be that rich and wealthy. Because northern white rhinos went extinct in 2018. Yeah. So ever since then, you know, because people were making dick pills out of rhino horns, I just feel like. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, fuck you. That shit was awesome. (laughs) I want to talk about the Vatican is going to burn. Maybe the Pope is an alien. Because honestly, if you look at all of them, they all look like creepy old fucking dudes, dude. Like, it's pretty creepy. They do. They look like little aliens. You seen the chin on this this recent Pope we have here? What's this? The one that Biden just went and recently uh, recently met. What was his what was his name? Pope Francis. Pope Francis. Francis, that dude also looks like he was low key a fucking bodybuilder. Like the shoulder build on that guy, like he was probably throwing people out of the the, the church clubs. The church clubs, <laughs> yeah, where all the nuns go get nunny. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, man. Fun facts about uh good old Pope Francis though. Um, his ordination was on the thirteenth December of nineteen sixty nine, and his birth name was actually. George Mario Bergoglio. Yeah, they always uh, they switch their names when they become popes. Yeah, why? Why is that? I think it's they they name themselves after a saint. It's because they literally like they they are now the speaker to God for the whole for all of Catholicism. Don't you think that's weird? That is weird. I mean, it's a religion, so I mean, you got to take it with a grain of salt. I mean, all I religions guess. weird in some way, I guess, if you look at it that way. But I mean, you know, that's that's what it is. Yeah. The position. You know, it's supposed to the the speaker to God. They are, you know, he's art. He's from Argentina. Yeah. Oh, he's from Argentina. And then Benedict before him was German, I believe. So it says here that from 1958 to 2013, Bergoglio, a.k.a. Pope Francis, found his vocation to the priesthood while he was on his way to celebrate the spring day. He passed by a church to go to confessions and was inspired by the priests. He studied all the archdiocese seminaries, something, something, in Via Devoto Buenos Aires. And after three years, entered the Society of Jesus, of Jesus as a novice. <laughs> they have a Society of Jesus? No, they have a Society Jesus. of Jeevas. Jeevas. Jeevas? You never heard of Jeevas? I ain't heard of that guy. Jesus Christ. But honestly, did you guys know Jesus' uh, original name was, yeah, it wasn't Yahshua, but it was like Yahweh? Yeah. Did you know Jesus is black? <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, did you know he's definitely not white with blue eyes? He's definitely not. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Definitely. That's why they've been drawing no. him for a long time. <laughs> Oh, if you read in the Bible, that's not what it says. Yeah, it says in the Bible that Jesus was uh was black. Yeah, Jesus was black, and that's it. And he, he you know, he probably also did you know that he was born a virgin? <laughs> I did know that. Did you guys know that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, knew that. I went to was, Catholic school. Yeah. Why yeah, are Jesus we doing was, Catholic facts right born, now? Is he this was what born, we're doing? He was born a virgin, dude. That's amazing. How many people are born virgins? Also, uh, Jesus and his family tree has got some really shady characters. For example, Jacob was a habitual schemer. Judah collaborated with his brothers to sell the youngest siblings into slavery. Uh, Rahab was actually a prostitute. David, uh, he killed a man to cover up an adulterous affair. Okay, Solomon married 700 women and turned his heart away from the Lord. Rehoboam did evil because he had not set his heart on seeking the Lord. That can actually be referenced in uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 12, 14. And then Abijah committed all the sins his father had done before him. 1 Kings 15, 3. Nice. I didn't, I didn't learn that in school. Yeah, he had a lot of half-siblings too. And uh, that's the facts about Jesus, guys. Stephanie, do you know that we have been recording? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, you know, at first, Jimmy and I thought we were going to prank you, but then as it started, so you didn't say anything, but as it started, I remember that Zoom tells you when you go into something that it's recording. <laughs> as soon as I joined, it said recording. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, sa- it says that out loud. So, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy and I, Jimmy and I have been thinking we were like giving you, giving you the good, good old prank there, but I was giving you the run around. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, it didn't work, guys. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Yeah, I'm saying, giving you the runaround. Same, yeah. All right, let's talk about something real quick, and then we'll end this episode. I want to do something quick to put out for tomorrow. That I mean, we're halfway there. Listen to. We are we are going to end this soon, sir. Let me tell you, I gotta. We got shit to do. But how was everyone's Halloween? Let's talk about that real quick. Halloween just happened. How was it? I was drunk. Yes. Where were you drunk? Um, home. Oh, you just. <laughs> That's safe. Yeah. Safest place you could be drunk. You didn't take That's your yeah. son out? No, because he had a fever. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, he had he had um croup. He had me up all night. And I was like, fuck that shit, man. I'm just going to stay home and get drunk and just, you know, give him his medicine and let him sleep it off. Oh, man. I wanted That's to hear exactly like what I, I wanted to hear what like the kids dressed up as and shit. I don't know. I'll tell you what right. the mom's dressed up as in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, my. God. No, what did the J man dress up as? <laughs> oh, yeah. Jaden actually went as. um. So you remember like the original Mickey Mouse crew, the yeah. black and white ones? Yeah. Yeah. Like. With back when he was actually Steamboat Willie. When he was Steamboat Willie, yeah. Yeah. So my son went as the original black and white Goofy. Oh, that's oh. so beautiful. Yeah. And I think that thing's name was, hold on. Uh, I, that'd be cool to see pictures of later. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't get any. <laughs> you didn't, you what? Didn't you didn't get any pictures? pictures? No, we didn't. You didn't take any you pictures of your kidding. son on Halloween? I mean, I guess not, Merms. Now that you fucking say it out loud like that, Jesus Christ! No, I did. we were too oh, excited about getting the bag. Out. We're out there trying to get the bag, man. You like, know, <laughs> I'm like, yo, you better go get this candy, get these full blown Snicker bars out here. You know what I mean? And he, it was cool because he got to dress up uh, as this like black and white goofy, old school goofy dude, and um. We ended up like merging with this like weird parade that our whole neighborhood did where everybody got together and like they started walking around. And that's when I was like, yo, moms need to like watch out because they're in costumes as if they're going to like a Halloween party. I'm talking like you got BBLs and booty shorts out here. And we only followed them. We only followed them as long as I was following them a few blocks before we decided to turn around. I was like, whore. Just kidding. But (laughs) no, it was. It was fun, man. We had a good Halloween. We started early. We ended early. I was in bed, back to work the next day. Well, I'm really happy you had a, a good little good little Halloween there. Stephanie, I'm sorry that uh, your son was sick. <laughs> that sucks. What did you do for Halloween? Yeah. What did I do? Oh, man. This whole weekend, we were fucking... The the Don man came to visit. You know, he got... Uh, he Danny. finally got that great, that great morning shirt. Um... So he came to visit, and we were just out being fucking reckless, man. Fucking drinking and driving, man. Just drinking and driving. Drinking and driving. Great. I love it. Big I advocate it. for that. We uh, we can't we can't stop drinking and driving. No, I'm kidding. We took Ubers everywhere, but yeah, we were drunk uh, yeah. and drove the Ubers. That way, we the drew, we, we got drunk, got in the Ubers, knocked the guy out, and then took the Uber. It was fucking wild. Great. Oh, so that was, oh, okay, because I remember this morning I saw this news clip about something happening like that, so now I know it was you. No, don't fucking put me on blast like that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was in Florida for... (laughs) for It was definitely you. Okay, got it. I wasn't in the country. I have an alibi. (laughs) Sure. I was at that training with Jimmy in Florida. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. (laughs) You can't fucking put me on blast. But yeah, man, it was fun. You know, it's... uh. This uh this this October was good. I'm excited for next year, of course. I'm excited for uh the great morning Halloween spectacular part IV, which will be out next year. You know, that's we just we just plan for it. Three hundred and sixty five day actually it's less than that now. But you know, I always have a good time on Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. Um Yeah. But I'm you know, I hope everyone else out there to all the listeners they had a good halloween but um you know like i said we just wanted to do a quick little thing for you guys to listen to if you needed to listen to anything you know technically we didn't need to do this because we released an episode sunday so if you listeners really got a problem with like how short this episode's gonna be listen you got a whole fucking two hour special you can fucking go and listen to all right we're all a little tired it's late give us a fucking break you fucking pieces of shit no i'm kidding 
No, don't say that. We love you guys so fucking much, especially me. Hashtag <laughs> cancel Christian Murmur and hashtag Christian Murmur starts in OnlyFans. Yeah, Ooh. that's that's petition for that. Show. Hashtag Christian Murmur show us your giant horse cock. Hashtag horsey. Punctual How the fuck? Christian. <laughs> hashtag the punctual Christian. The punctual. Yes, I am. I don't like it. Um. But yeah, I think we're gonna wrap things up now <laughs> because it is uh it is late, and I've had a long day. I think everyone else has had a long day. But we're gonna go around the room. We're gonna do last minute plugs like we always do. All right. So Stephanie, your grace, you got any last minute plugs for listeners? Yes, of course. I want to shout out um, Five Napkin, of course, because you know I'm still working on my freaking great morning burger. Yeah, where the and, fuck is that? Know- I'm getting annoyed now, actually. Well, you know, is that because I haven't really spoken to them. I told you I've been in my nasty, funky ass mood. And um, I want to give a big shout out to um, It All Makes Sense because I need to get more um, body butter and that shit is just super popping. So I need to get some of that. And um, this is not a shout out, but fuck you, TikTok. Fuck you. Because you guys just, you know, you guys just like suck my dick so much. And I, I, I just can't stand you for it. And um, yeah, okay. follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Stephanie. Can I just follow me on TikTok. No, hold on, hold on. I want to okay. stop you for a second. I want to stop you for a second. Can you, I understand that they do stuff to you a lot, but can you please in your heart find, you know, find the strength. Say that shit not, louder. To not bash the Fuck. thing that has given you us TikTok. some of the most followers. Fuck you, TikTok. TikTok, you fucking bitch. Coming on my shit. I need that check on the block to verify me because I'm bad like about my 25, emotions. 5,000 followers on there. <laughs> they should be listening. <laughs> Don't be cussing. They need out. to stop. What did they do? Shit. Were you it's smoking the weed again and then they fucking banned you? No, I wasn't smoking weed. I wasn't doing any of that. What happened was, was that these fucking assholes, and it's always the fucking guys i don't know what it is they i don't know what it is i don't know but it's like there's some they're just fucking lonely ass motherfuckers and they just like to bother me and they they when when i make a live they want to join my live and they they like to troll they like to be disrespectful and you know nine times out of ten i i ignore them but then but then you know they they get me out of character because then they they say shit that's like a little bit too too much for me to just be like all right i'm not gonna say nothing to you so you know i'll i'll talk my shit and i'll block them and then they'll make another fucking account to get back on my life to then report my my account that's what they're doing and then in in one in one i i was actually wearing this shirt i was wearing this shirt i went like this to reach for something and I guess my booze was in the fucking camera and the little bitch decided to fucking whoop for sexual harassment. How the fuck? Haters. <laughs> Goddamn haters. How? How? Swear you got a sexual how? harassment how? charge how? on you? I got a sexual harassment, sexual bully. Like, what the fuck is that? Haters. Who does that shit? No, I, I don't do- like TikTok. You know, I, I don't listen, think that was very PC of you. <laughs> Any of them. Whatever. Fuck TikTok. But well, follow me on TikTok anyway. It's Steffi underscore with the number zero and it's spelled S T E P H H Y underscore with the number zero. And um follow the other TikTok, Great Morning the Podcast, right? Is it, is it Great Morning underscore the podcast? That's you correct. Can follow us there. Yeah. And then um Gemma. Oh, follow me on my freaking Instagram, guys. That you love stuff. That's why you L U V S T E P H H and two underscores. And um, that's pretty much it from the Puerto Rican Mama Cita. I'm I'm fucking tired, y'all. That's it. Bye. <laughs> All right. Nice. Goodbye. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Thank you for those last minute plugs. And uh, of course, uh, Jimmy, my friend, you got any last minute plugs? Yeah, you guys can follow me at Pornhub dot com forward slash charlie cancer okay see all that shit i be infecting out there <laughs> by the way fuck porn harp because you want to talk about sexual what'd you say harassment yeah sometimes i just want to go there to listen to some of my favorite songs and then i go there 
And it's always some chick sticking her boobies in the camera while I'm just trying to listen to some Wiz Khalifa. So fuck you, Pornhub. Okay. Sponsor me. Pornhub. Sponsor me, Pornhub. And you could also follow my daily boring non-active life on Instagram. I have not been active on Instagram in like a week or two. Um, because I've just been fucking just been working these heels into the clouds, man. You know? I really been I really been uh pissing on my chocolate bar. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> on this one, guys. And super tired because I, I just I can't stand I can't stand. I, I've just been, you know, just uh, you know, just uh spitting on my Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy's. <laughs> you know? Just been spitting on my Jimmy's out there and sitting on my my non seats. Don't recommend sitting on non seats. That's not what they're for. Just sit on the seats, kids. In my school district class. <laughs> with them urinals. Yeah. That's that's great. All right. <laughs> let's, let's come on. Let's go. Let's get this rolling. <laughs> oh boy. Merbs. You guys are acting Merbs. like weirdos today. Merbs. <laughs> Merbs. Is that a good one? You guys are weirdos on today. Bar? Is that a good one? My chocolate That's not the best. I <laughs> you, you, you've done better. Is that good for a shirt? Oh, speaking of catchphrases of yours, I have to tell you about that one that D Bag said. You know, a couple of specials ago, I have to tell you something <laughs> after this episode. It's better to get shitted on than shitted in. Of course, that one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that's one of my favorites. <laughs> if I'm no favorite. bullshit, gonna motivate. Now, I'm going to stand in front of 98 sailors and give an inspirational sh- speech, and I'm going to end it with, and it's better to get shitted on than shitted in. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did he just say? Yeah. That one's good. Well, Merms, do you have any last minute plugs? I do. You can follow uh, these two great people, of course, on Instagram. That is you love Steph and slightly special two L's. You can follow Trip God Jimmy. That is T R Y P G O D J I M I. You can follow me, my personal. That is Christian D Merm. You can follow Great Morning underscore the podcast. That is our Instagram podcast. And same thing for the TikTok. That is I say it again. That is Great Morning underscore the podcast on TikTok. Um, dude, what else is going? Go back and listen to the special. Go back and listen to the Halloween special if you haven't. We had a great time with that. We had fun. Um, the bronze kneecap and uh, O'Shea Ivy were there, of course, as well. Um, including the three of us. And uh, stay tuned. I don't want to say. Yeah, I don't think it is. But uh, you know, coming soon. We're almost done with this season, guys. It's over. It's it's coming to a close. We're about to do the finale. We got something very special planned for you, listeners out there. We uh we introduced we set our list already. Oh, I missed one person before I forgot. I feel like a dick. Marquise is all also on that list. Just remember we ac- we actually have eleven people on the top ten list. That'll make itself clear if you listen to the finale. Don't don't worry. We we got this figured out. Um, I do want to say, you know, before the finale comes out, and I'll say this again, probably on the finale that. The ratings, we'll, we'll get into detail later about how specifically we rated things, but it was a team effort, all right? So, you, for instance, you might hear some ones that sounded really funny, but it wasn't as high on the list as someone else whose wasn't as funny, for instance. Well, maybe it was because of other reasons that they got rated uh, a little lower, you know? There was a couple different factors that when each person was very, you know, uh, it, it was a very really good in-depth... System you know system you know we were using so just you know bear with us and you know what you can you can go ahead out there and you know you can hit us up on instagram if you feel like you know this person deserved to be number five or this person deserved to be number two and one or whatever you know but as the 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 three of us we are coming together and we are saying that this is final this is who won this is who got on the top 10 list and we're sticking by it so you just got to accept it all right so i don't want to hear any shit when the fun when the finale comes out because you know you, you never know like maybe maybe in jimmy's mind he had uh someone else who who, who thought you know was supposed to be number one but then stephanie well, and i you. because the way the way stephanie and i voted you know that that person might be number six for all we know you know you don't know this is just we we had to, the three of us had to come together and do it so just you gotta take it you gotta take it no matter take what it. Take it. 
and that's take it, it from penetration christian oh yeah so okay now it's getting a little <laughs> now it's a little <laughs> oh, all right um so but yeah that's it so stay tuned for the finale but it's gonna be really fun we're gonna we're gonna have some guests there of course uh who made it on to the to the list um so we're really excited for that and then we're gonna close out 2021 great morning for you guys man and then we're uh you know of course we're gonna come back in 2022 don't you don't you worry you'll you won't you won't be missing us for long but stay tuned for that finale it's coming up november 18th baby this man's birthday right there right we're ending this officially season three um but yeah that's it for my plugs thank you for listening to this very short episode and great morning great morning Great fucking morning. Great morning. Great morning. Great morning.